Hi, welcome to Anunche video tutorial. It's another one of the basic exercises. A flywheel. I've made a drawing, so let's take a look at it. So here it is. And if you want, you can make a screenshot and then follow this exercise step by step if you want. So let's have fun with Onshape. OK, let's start with a sketch on the front plane. I need a circle and the diameter should be 230. And then I need some lines like that. Another one like this. And these should be for construction only. Okay, I need an angle here. This should be 50 degrees. Over here as well. Now two more lines, maybe like that. Okay, make them parallel, and add a dimension, and this should be 19. Let's go for trim. And finish that sketch. OK, so now let's make an extrude. And it should be a thin one. And I want to go for 50 millimeter in direction 1. And it should be symmetric. Yeah, there you go. And the depth should be. 40 millimeter then select that sketch here and change that direction yeah this looks good so let's confirm this now another sketch on the front plane here and i need a circle diameter should be 40 Finish that sketch. Let's make another extrude. This time it's a solid one and it should be added with that sketch. I want it to be symmetric and the depth should be 60 millimeter. And confirm. Then another sketch on the same plane. This will be a line distance might be 105 okay finish that sketch and it should be another extrude it should be a thin one it could be added and this it's 5 mm in one direction, 5 mm in the other direction. It should be symmetric. The depth should be 40 mm. And the sketch would be that line. Yeah, looks good. So let's confirm this. Now let's add fillets. So go for fillet, 10 millimeter, that's okay. Here should be one, there should be one, here, here, and there. Same on the other side, on this edge, that edge, and this edge. Confirm. And two more with 25 millimeter on this edge, that edge, 
no not the face but the edge confirm and then I have to add here another one this edge should be 10 millimeter as well and confirm nice now I want to reuse the first sketch this one and make another extrude it should be added yes it should be symmetric not a thin one a solid one then I have to reselect and depth should be 20 millimeters let's take a look confirm yeah looks okay now in order to fix this here I want to move that extrude before this fillet here so drag and drop it before that fillet and it's okay nice next I need a sketch on the front plane of course and I want to hide that solid for the moment so go for a sketch on the front plane I need a circle and it should be for construction only and the diameter should be 25 then I need a line a construction line like this and like that here maybe trim those two add an angle so that angle here or maybe first align those two points vertical so this gives me sort of symmetry and then I can go for that angle and that angle should be 20 no let's zoom in go for an angle like this yes and that angle should be 25 degrees now let's add circles on this point five millimeter diameter and on this end point as well again five millimeter in diameter now let us let's add some more circles one here which should be yeah, like this and another one like that and then go for tangency and make this one tangent to that one and also this one to that one nice now we can trim this should be trimmed that should be trimmed this one that one this one that one and now it's sort of symmetric as though I want to remove that five millimeter diameter and it's fully defined great maybe move this a little bit over here and that one like this and confirm now let's make another extrude with that sketch bring back that part so that sketch an extrude it should be a symmetric one I want to remove it and it should have a depth of 60 millimeter at least okay so now is that sketch for selected maybe yes that's selected and the merge scope is this let's confirm now I want to make a circular pattern therefore I will need some sort of axis so let's go for a line on yeah on the top plane doesn't really matter so go for a sketch on the top plane let's draw a line like this and give it a length of maybe 50 leave that sketch and now let's make a circular pattern I want to have a circular pattern I want to 
pattern a feature. I want to pattern that extrude here. Axis is this one. And I want to have six instances. 360 degrees equals spacing and confirm. Great. Next I want to reuse that sketch. I want to copy it, so go for not this one, but this one here. That one, yes. Go for copy sketch and paste it onto the same on the front plane. Make sure nothing selected. Go here and paste that sketch. It's not fully defined. I hide the part and go into that sketch to edit it. Let's take a closer look. I want to move, of course, this point here right there. Nice. Then edit that angle here. Make it 30 degrees. Yes. Then change this diameter to 140 millimeter. Okay. And now I want to change that one here to 20 millimeter. Great. Now let's add another circle and you put it right there. Not a circle, sorry. Add a circle right there and diameter should be 20. Now go for tangency like this here. And now I want to use circles. Diameter should be 10 millimeter. Same over here. 10 millimeter. Now use tangency to align it here and this circle to that arc. This circle over here and that circle to this arc. Now, I think I have not to trim, but I want to trim. So let's trim here, here, over here, there, this one, that one, this one. Now, this should be removed as well, because I use those construction lines. I have to take care to remove everything like that and then add a dimension from this center to that center here and this should be 50 and the sketch is usually fully defined but not here why not there should be a tendency yes so what's missing hmm let's try to move it Okay, I see tangency is missing. So go for tangency on those two and then it should be fully defined. Yes. Leave that sketch. Bring back that part. Make another extrude. Remove it. Make it symmetric. Make it at least, in this case it's 20. And I want to use that sketch here. Looks good. So let's confirm. Okay, so let's make a feature pattern. That would be the axis here. Yes. Go for a circular pattern. And I want to make a feature pattern. I want to pattern this feature here. The axis would be that line here. And I want to have two instances with 45 degree angle applied per instance the other way around like this. Yes. 
and confirm. Now let's mirror the extrude and the circular pattern. So go for mirror command. It's not a part mirror, it's a feature mirror. That feature and this feature here. And the mirror plane would be of course this plane here. Okay. And confirm. Now what's missing? A hole, so let's make a sketch right there. Bring in a point right at the center here. Finish that sketch, go for the hole tool, select that point, make it custom, yes, 12 millimeter, that's okay. And it should go through and confirm. And I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on Facebook, GrabCat, Instagram, Twitter and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.